What is up guys? I'm Kegernot, please just call me Keg. And today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of uh, something special. It's going to help you with your leveling and what it is, is it's going to help you with your artifact weapon leveling. So without further ado, um, let's just jump right in it. Alright everybody, this is the Aljaki Warblades, here we go, and my recommended path of progression for leveling up your artifact weapon in Legion. Now, because you're going to be leveling up your artifact weapon, and you're going to be very tight on artifact power, is going to be a very important resource for you to manage. And therefore, what that means is that you don't want to spend it in the wrong places. So, this is what it looks like fully upgraded, I'm going to reset this now, and we're going to start off from the beginning. Now, every spec gets four golden dragons. These are the big game changers to your gameplay. And these are the ones that you're going to want to seek out as quickly as possible. So, here's the first one, Soul Gorger. This, what it does is it increases your total health just flat. There's 20 ranks to it. It's going to increase your health even more. That's good to know. This is what's known as a Paragon Trait. Now, this will only unlock after you unlock the rest of the artifact talents. This is very important because you won't have to deal with this until much, much later. Months later, in fact. So, don't even put it on your mind. The next one we have is Fueled by Pain. You have a chance to activate Metamorphosis for 5 seconds each time you consume a Soul Fragment. The next one is Charred Warblades. You heal for 15% of all fire damage you deal. That is an insane amount of healing considering how much fire damage you actually do as a Vengeance Demon Hunter. Next is Painbringer. Each soul fragment you consume reduces all damage you take by 3% for 4 seconds. Again, this is another golden dragon, just like Fueled by Pain, that has soul fragment gameplay. Now, before you even do anything, right when you get your Eldraki Warblades, you're going to have to take Soul Carver. This is your artifact ability, and what it does is it's a 1 minute cooldown, it inflicts fire damage upon the enemy, automatically rips 2 soul fragments off of them, and then 3 soul fragments every 1 second after. What that means is that you're going to have a pool of 5 soul fragments ready to go, so what you need to do is you need to use this proactively, so before you take a big hit, so that when you do take that big hit and you do drop low on health, you have this ready in your pocket, so that when you press soul cleave, you get that big burst of healing and you stay alive and you don't freak out your healers. Next, you have to take Tormented Souls. This will give you access to the rest of the tree. Now, you can go the path of Shattered Souls, which will take you close to Fueled by Pain, or you can take Infernal Force, which gives you access towards Painbringer and also Charred Warblades. Now, I did understand that I was going pretty heavily on Charred Warblades because that's a lot of healing, that's a lot of fire damage. This is extremely vital to your playstyle as a Vengeance Demon Hunter. Healing. It, you're all about healing as a Vengeance Demon Hunter. Sadly though, I think that Fueled by Pain is the better choice at first. So, because you're going to be going into Metamorphosis for 5 seconds each time you consume a f Soul Fragment, you have a chance, excuse me, every time you consume a Soul Fragment. That means that you get a 30% current and maximum health increase, and also 7 pain per second. So, 7 pain for 5 seconds equals 35 pain. That means that you Soul, f you soul Cleave, you get 35 pain back after 5 seconds, that equals another Soul Cleave right there right that is amazing for leveling and outdoor world content that's really really good it's going to make you almost unstoppable because you're going to be consuming so many soul fragments anyway it's great plus you couple this with the talent on the talent tree for vengeance demon hunter that gives you 50 percent leech every single time you're in metamorphosis so literally you're virtually unkillable when you have this talent it's too good to miss so that's what we're going to do right away. We're going to do the Shatter the Souls, we're going to go to Siphon Power, taking Fiery Demise, and then unlocking Fueled by Pain. Now, the next one that we have to do is Charred Warblades and Painbringer. Now, seeing as how I was going on about Charred Warblades before, I think this is a no-brainer to go towards. So we're going to take Aldraki Design, we're going to take Aura of Pain, and then go right into Charred Warblades. Skip over Demonic Flames, as it only increases the duration of Fiery Brand by 2 seconds. I know that's pretty important, because that's a 40% damage reduction on whoever you fiery brand, but still, this is always way more important to have for survivability than an extra 2 measly seconds on your 1 minute cooldown, for only one enemy. This will heal you for all damage on all enemies. 
This is extremely potent, and I recommend you picking this up before Demonic Flames. Now, what you can do is pick up Demonic Flames now, Honed Warblades, or Infernal Force. I suggest going for Painbringer, because obviously it's a Golden Dragon, that means it's more powerful. Why wouldn't you go there? So let's go there. Infernal Force, we're taking that one, then we're going to take Defensive Spikes, that's going to make us more tanky by giving us more parry, and then we're going to take Embrace the Pain, and then we're going to take Painbringer. There, that means we got all our Golden Dragons besides Soul Gorger over here, and we can't take it yet because we haven't unlocked everything in our Artifact Weapon. So, here we can take Demonic Flames, we could take Honed Warblades, or we can take Devour Souls. I personally think you should take Devour Souls first, as it'll increase your Soul Cleave healing by an additional 9%. And like I said earlier, Vengeance Demon Hunter is all about healing. Next, you can take Demonic Flames, Honed Warblades, or Will of the Illidari. I think you should take Will of the Illidari, because that means that you get 3% more maximum health. And seeing as how squishy Vengeance Demon Hunter tanks currently are right now, I would assume, and that's just what I'm saying, is that 3% more health, definitely a go-to. Now. This is definitely, of all the choices you can make, this is the biggest no-brainer. Why would you go as a tank for more damage on Sheer than two extra seconds on your damage reduction ability? Survivability is always more than damage. So go for survivability and then take Honed Warblades. Now you have access to Soul Gorger. Perfect, except now that it costs 1,635,200 artifact power. That is a truckload of artifact power that you're going to have to accumulate just to put even one measly point into this. There's 20 points that we have to go into. But unfortunately, in order to do that, that's the only way. So we're going to slowly and slowly and slowly take this talent and keep going and keep going and bam. Now we've got all 20. We fully maxed out our artifact weapon. This is going to put us probably from rough estimates... Without this, is going to take us about three-ish months. Possibly even less depending on how much you play, and possibly even more depending on how little you play. So, take it all with just a little grain of salt, because it's not an exact estimation on what this could be. But anyway, this is my suggested path of progression in order to maximize your artifact power intake and you don't spend it in the wrong places because if you spend it in the wrong place it's very expensive to respec and obviously it's better to just put that artifact power into another talent than it is to restart everything so this is what i think is the best path of progression this has been kegernaut peace out guys i'll see you guys next video